Hello and welcome back guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince, oh did I save, hang on. Yeah, I misclicked and pressed the console button, it's still there but we don't want to cheat here obviously. But if we take a look at it, look at what USA has done, they're actually going to be invading the Philippines again. We're still building our carriers and getting all our research done. For politics, I don't really know if we have better politicians for the moment. It's really good. Again, we we keep winning battles against them, but it's pretty pointless because they keep running away from us. Look, we won that battle. Now they'll retreat here, where we actually are. <laughs> pretty pretty strange. Oh no, they've actually canceled that. We needed the money. Oh, I thought we ran out of, uh, that we actually ran out of, uh, supplies over here, but thankfully it was not the case. I'm actually gonna go over to that other province as well, because we want to get all those ports so they run out of, uh, we can't go through here unfortunately, so they just ran out of, um, How's it called? Supplies! We don't want them to be supplied at all. Oh, they, they've actually attacked us. And this guy, he's trying to escape, but we will attack him back. And once he's taken out, just like that, it's another unit that the Japanese have lost. And yeah, our radar station is over there, just given us very good vision of what's happening in Japan, but you can just easily see that it's not very well protected. I mean, it will be easy to take out. Are we actually gonna go for Persia and uh, maybe Turkey or Afghanistan? Mm, let's, I'm actually gonna do that because I want to puppet Afghanistan and Persia. So maybe in this scenario, I would want to get some extra units over here, but I cannot do strategic redeployment. Now I can because we were giving attack orders. So I'm gonna do, let's first look at the VP map mode. So I will put two here, then one there, one here, one here. Let's put one here and the other guy will be right here. So yeah, we will take Afghanistan, we will uh, Puppet it and then all should be good. We got the CAS technologies as well. This one hasn't been researched yet, but should be very soon. Actually, it just got researched. Civil defense, not right now. Light cruiser escort role, that's a 45 tech, pretty important, but not right now. We got this small air search radar too. Very good because it increases our uh, capability of attacking during the night time with CAGs, which we are gonna have a lot of. Well, not a lot of, but quite the amount of CAGs since we have carriers, so we got all of this too. Single engine airframe. Not needed right now, because it's a 1947 tech, we will get too much penalty for getting it. And the small air, uh, small navigation uh, radar could be pretty good. Again, they took that province, but this is gonna matter. No, I'm just gonna send three guys again to take it out, and we'll go back. But yeah, once we actually have our carriers, that's when things are gonna be fun. But that's in like two years, and two years is a lot. So, yep, there they go, the Marines, they'll go back. Oh, we really forced them back, but. Now we will go back. We will let them have that province for the moment. As for over here, we are soon in position to take uh, Afghanistan. Infrastructure map mode. It's not It's not the uh, best in India, but actually the Chinese infrastructure is really good where, well, where we want it to be really good. 100% in a lot of the places. So this really helps with uh, 
sending supplies to our units as you can see we have no supply issues here we may have yeah we have some supply issues over here but it's kind of expected over here we pretty much hold everything so I'm gonna give a billion attack orders so we do actually take everything I'm clicking everywhere <laughs> this probably looks funny but hmm. Eventually we will take everything, right? And then we will do the same thing over here for all the ones we can take. Yep, we'll do it like that, basically. Hmm. We will give them energy for money. That's okay, because we have a lot of energy that we don't need. So again, Marines for the Japanese gonna get sent out. Hmm. And all our, our light cruisers will be done here. Still takes quite a lot to produce and we won this battle. Wasn't very effective, but hey, wait, whoa, 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 they're actually attacking over here. Why did they try and do that? Because they just lost so much. They should just go over here so I can cut them off again. That's the best thing they should do. Hmm, they want to buy stuff from us. Why not? They're giving us money. USA, we will give them money for crude oil. But we don't have that much money. Why do you ask for more money than we have? <laughs> well, at least more money per day. That's strange, USA. They don't have good data on us, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to be sending two of those guys back there and this guy well we have five in every land province over here so it's all good over here now for this side well Sam is pretty much screwed I mean Japan not Sam because Sam is now our puppet so they should be giving us lots of stuff they have their own units and everything and I wish we were actually able to Conquer Yunnan and Guangxi Creek and stuff, but we were not able to. Really unfortunate. I mean, because of civil war, they actually have some. Oh no, they don't actually have revolt risk, but what happens is that they spawn underground resistance because they're occupied, they're still not fully annexed. And that's the big problem. And we now have 31 leadership, yay! Look at the Americans as well over here. They are owning the Japanese and the Philippines. So we're back in Europe. Germany is still pushing through the north. And it's funny how the north looks really good for the Germans, while the south looks really bad, I mean. Just look at it. Soviet Union is in Poland in the south. That's quite strange. But just imagine if the Soviet Union cuts off the Germans over here. Their supply lines would be really bad. They could can do that, I think. I mean, if they manage to push up here, they probably can do that. Then the Germans would have terrible supply lines. But actually, there, there are some ports over here, so they will still get supplied a little bit. But I don't think you can supply the entire German army with via ports. I don't think that's, that's possible. You have to also supply it via train networks and stuff which they won't be able to get if they are over here. It would be funny if we actually land over here with Chinese troops, but we can't because of uh, this trade over here. Supply, supply, supply. It's very good. We still have a major supply need though, and more special forces that we can research, yay. Of course, we're going to take care of all those uh, Japanese HQs, and I'm going to... Oh, we actually need to take those. And here we go, I'm given massive attack orders, <laughs> as usual. Oh, wait. Didn't do it here. Now we have done it. Yep, basically just like that. Now we're going to get everything. Yay! So Japan, 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 surrender progress, not so high. Not so high indeed. Once again, they're 
why are they trying to attack over here? Oh, it failed once again because we have way too good organization levels for them. Now we're actually gonna attack them back, and it was much more successful than their puny attacks. They they did nothing, while our attacks actually killed stuff and killed quite a lot of it. Well, at least we forced them back. I mean, didn't really kill their units. But as always, just causing manpower problems to them is really good. Now, I'm not sure if they have manpower problems, but we don't, as you can clearly see. 80 monthly gain of manpower, that's that's pretty good, wouldn't you say so? so now we're gonna have to wait some hours, now we have. So what's their uh, national unity? Pretty low. Now we'll just pop it Afghanistan. So, over here guys. Sending one unit here and then here. Basically, that's what we want to do. Again, here, defense. Germany is defending. Wait, we lost. Saigon. They took it back somehow. Okay. That's strange. Didn't know you would actually be able to take it back, but all right. If you've done it, then uh, we'll take it back. And we've beaten them out. It's just... Oh, it's just uh, Vichy, France... Uh, is it an Axis now? Axis. <laughs> oh no! Germany actually took uh, also this part of France as well, Vichy, France. I guess they annexed Vichy, France? No. Whoa, it's, no, it's all the way back here in uh, North Africa. But they're fighting us still. Hmm. So they did take all of Vichy France over here. Okay. That makes them very powerful. Now Philippines. So much of it is taken by the Americans. You can safely say that the Americans are going to get it. Italy enforced conquer on Iraq. Italy got Iraq. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, we still haven't dealt with those units there. Yeah, that's that's true. But I mean, we're gonna we're just gonna take over their uh, main little territory, and in Kabul, we're taking out their militia and infantry division. It's funny, one of our infantry divisions can beat down uh, a militia and another of theirs. It's quite strange. But I mean, it's quite cool that we have actually become so effective as China. Despite the fact that we don't need to be so effective and we'll soon be reaching 3,000 manpower. Which is insane. And if I take a look at our national uh, or allied army comparison, we have almost 800 brigades. Which is again, I guess only Soviet Union can challenge us for the amount of brigades. And Kabul, yes, we're gonna get Kabul now. And we will take that to VP province too. So when are we gonna actually get Kabul? Very, very soon, 22nd of September, so right now we got it. Now surrender progress is very high for them. Have they gone back here? Yes, they have, so we'll just force them out. Again, they lost 400 men. Every man they lose is important. Sinkyang, I wanna take it, but hmm, it's common turn, remember, unfortunately. But yeah, Afghanistan, you're gonna be down and out. Yay, we have puppeted Afghanistan. So now, next would be to take over Persia. Gonna keep one there, keep one here, and then three guys there. Actually, two guys over there. So yeah. There go all our units. Do we have any more units down here that we could use? No. So yeah, India is secure. Oh, they have decided kamikaze. Oh my, there's actually... Americans are actually ahead of us. They, they're invading Japan. <laughs> the Americans. Wow. Well done, America. So I guess this is actually a good point to end the episode. So if you guys are going to enjoy, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I will see you next time.